What's up, y'all? This is going to be a spoiler review. You see I'm repping ATL to the fullest. This is the the Peace Tree edition of the jerseys. They don't even wear these no more. But, man, instead of doing a normal review where uh, I break down everything that I saw on the show, I just want to focus on Van, a.k.a. Vanessa, man, because... You know, just like I said in the title, dude, what is wrong with her? Like, she's always been one of my favorite characters. Um, I guess it's no surprise to y'all to say I'm attracted to her. Like, you know, um, I never really fawned over the mixed girls, the girls mixed with black and white and kind of put them up on a pedestal like some of my peers did when we were growing up. But she kind of breaks the mold in terms of she's a mixed girl and I just still shake my head and say she was so bad. But it's almost like, I'm not going to say she's a clone, but it's almost like literally not the same person. And um, I hope this isn't one of those like alternate reality things because you know, Atlanta is crazy enough to do something like that. But just carrying over, I'm not going to stick on the first episode very long. I'm trying to focus on what we saw last night, episode two. But you got to carry over a little bit of episode one to understand why I'm so frustrated with her character. Okay, you didn't get the job that you were looking for, so you just decided to come to Europe. Um... You're coming to Europe. Obviously, the only reason that you are invited or welcome to come to Europe is because of Ern, a.k.a. your child's father and Paperboy's manager. Now, what's not clear is if Ern has been paying for anything. I, I don't know if he paid for her to come over via the plane. I'm not sure if he paid for her hotel, where they were staying at. But there's some theories going around that she might have slept with Darius when she was halfway naked in the hallway with the towel. A lot of people online are saying they think it was Darius. And I already know what y'all are thinking, and I agree with y'all. That don't even seem like it's in Darius's character. But I will say Vanessa is good enough looking that if she was pressing you, that she wanted to do that, I'm not sure there's too many of us that are strong enough to tell her no. But even when Ern saw her in the hallway, he looked confused as to why her room was right next to his. That didn't seem to make sense because I'm guessing he didn't pay for her room because why else would he look surprised that she, she was in a room right next to him? And then he said, I'm just getting some ice. And he said, at 4 o'clock in the morning? And she's like, yeah. So he's like, okay, that's weird. So we fast forward to this episode. She's just kind of walking around like she's one of the boys. And as they, like, are walking around this rich man's apartment, she saw something on the shelf and just smooth put it in her pocket. You could probably already assume because this dude is like a millionaire slash billionaire that that was probably whatever she put in her pocket was probably worth no less than a hundred thousand dollars. I'm gonna just say that just minimum. It was probably a hundred thousand dollars. She just stole like it was nothing just casually. And Ern was having a conversation while she did it and he kind of had a look on his face like I know this broad to just not steal something from my friend's crib you know I mean that's the kind of stuff that you have to account for people like he's probably so rich that he won't miss it but if if he did miss it and question earn what happened to my piece of art that was on the shelf if you have to tell someone 
that yeah my friend van took it automatically that allows someone to say well what kind of friends do you have what kind of friends do you have that would steal from one of your friends or associates so that was the one thing then she pushed the guy into the pool she was telling Ern, hey you need to learn to start living in the moment more and not be so uptight just push the dude into the pool she thought it was funny obviously that dude could swim but then she pushed another white lady into the pool and she couldn't swim that chick could have drowned like what what are you doing and ironically right before those two times when she pushed the people into the pool Ern asked a realistic question that I think a lot of us would ask somebody behaving like this he said are you mad at me cause he's trying to figure out is the way you're acting is this some type of vendetta is this some form of payback you know is you know what what's the end game you know this not the avengers but we want to know what's the end game for what vanessa is doing and she's saying no i'm not mad at you like like a girl can't go on vacation and he told her that you deserve a vacation but you know in classical clinical terms that's deflection Nobody said that you couldn't have a vacation. I'm asking you, why are you acting like this? Why are you doing the things that you are doing? And the final straw, you, you stole from my, my homeboy's house. You technically assaulted two people because you might not look at pushing somebody in the pool as assault, but he could do that to earn. He could do that to Paperboy. You can do that to somebody that you know as a joke. But to put somebody in a pool and you don't know them from nobody, that person can file charges as assault. As assault. But the final thing, after Earn and Paperboy got into whatever they got into and they were trying to laugh about it and make their way home, Earn is calling her as you would. Hey, you know the street the street code, the street rules. We came together, what? Y'all say it for me. We leaving together. And so he's calling her naturally as he should. Like we in another country. We can't leave Van. Van is just casually like in some restaurant. And she ignored his call. She just let it go to voicemail. So what do y'all think is going on with Van, man? I just, I'm usually good at, you know, all things Atlanta. I'm usually good and I can break down what's going on. And I'm just perplexed. I have no idea what's going on with Van. It'd be interesting to get some more insight on it. Next week, we up.